Hi, and welcome back to our channel, Fix My Broken Hair. My name is Regina, and I've been natural since 2011. And I, first of all, I've got to thank all of our new subscribers, y'all. I'm so glad to have you and to be part of our group. And I just want to let you know that I am here. I understand what you're going through because I've been through it. And I'm going to do everything I can to show you all what I did to get through the ball spot and trying to get my hair to grow back. So if you just keep watching our videos and leave in the comments if you all have other ideas of things that you would like to see me talk about or do or find out if I even tried it to get my hair to grow back. But I'd be happy to share that with you. I'm just glad to have y'all here. And today, a lot of you all, y'all are just the best people in the whole world, left the blue heart. Now, this is for the people that left the blue heart in the other video where we were talking about uh, how to, uh, how I went from ball spot to waistline hair. So in this one, I'm talking about detangling our natural hair with our fingers. And I know finger detangling is something that you hear people talk about and you wonder, what is it? In this video, I'm going to do my best to show you how I finger detangle my hair. And again, I've watched a lot of different YouTubers do it. So I have a mix of ideas and things that I've tried that work for me. So I'm hoping that you all watching me do the finger detangling will help you understand how I do it and understand why it's important to our natural hair and how it helps to thicken our hair. So again, I got my notes in front of me. So y'all see me looking down. I'm looking at my outline of the, so that I can kind of stay on the track. Um, so we're talking about finger detangling. And when you have 4B, probably even A, but 4B hair, 4C hair, our hair is the curliest and the tightest of curls. So finger detangling is amazing for us. Actually, actually, even type 1 detangle with their fingers, if you all notice. Most people use their fingers to do a lot of their hair stuff. And the finger detangling helps with not only length retention, but it does help, like I said, with the thickness of our hair. So there are different methods, apparently. Um, the one that I watched, one of the YouTubers, she likes to use to separate and smooth. And I guess I do a little bit of this. So I'm going to talk about the separate and smooth detangling of our natural hair. And you always start when your hair is loose, like mine will be in this clip. And the clip's going to be on, probably on that side of me. But I'll have a clip of, of me detangling my hair. Because as you can see, I'm still in the same style. You know, this is the same style from last week. And I'm going to tell you what, the, what I've been doing. I've been massaging my scalp at night and putting a little aloe vera juice on it. And then I put my do-rag on it and I go to work. It's been just wonderful. Because I haven't had to do anything to my hair all week. So it's probably going to need some detangling. If it looks good, I'm going to probably wear it to do, I do a, I do videos for our church. I do a Sunday school. I teach Sunday school at my church. So I do Sunday school videos. And I usually do like an intro, an outro. And I usually, you know, try to look a little, you know, I fix my hair for it. So if it looks good, I'm going to use it for that. If it doesn't, I'm going to put it in, up in some kind of updo and do that, my intro with it. But at the end of this video, you'll see how it looks when I take it down. So stay with me till the end so you can see what you can see what I ended up with. Um, but you the reason you do it in sections is because it's easier to manage your hair in sections. When you've got all of your natural hair loose, it's kind of hard to handle it in sections. So you'll see me put clips on, or you see me put it. I'll probably use clips because that's what I do most of the time. So you see me clip the rest of it away when I'm taking part of it down and detangling it. I always use an oil. And I'm going to show you all what the oil is. I think it's fruities. I think it's a serum. But what it is, it feels like, um, now I can't think of the name of the oil. But it's, it's one of those oils that go into the hair kind of quick. And it's real slick on your hand. But it's not too thick. It's not like a castor oil. Argan oil. Argan oil. It feels like argan oil to me. But I've always used that on my hands when I'm taking twists or any braids or anything down like that. So that I can try not to get too much. Now, when you have your hair in sections, sometimes you want to go even smaller sections when you're detangling your hair. 
And these videos are going to kind of tie together with all the hearts that we that that I had you all to to give me in the first video because this is the blue heart. This is the heart where this is the detangle heart. All right, the other hearts are going to tie in with this. So you'll see me make the what I use to put on my hair after I do this one. You'll also see um, the because that one leads to a wash, which you detangle before you wash. And I'm gonna try to connect them all together. So let me kind of like part, and you'll see how it how it all works together. When you when you're detangling your hair, you're trying not to cause breakage. Now the first thing I always do is make sure I don't have long finger nails. I never have. I'm just not into my nails like that because I repair computers, so I'm typing all the time. So nails would kind of get in my way. So you still want to make sure there's no sharp edges on your nail or there's no broken nails because when you are finger detangling, the hair will find that slit, that cut, and it'll get down in that nail, and it will, you'll, you'll damage the hair anyway. Same thing if you have a comb that's got a slit tooth on it. Do not use that comb because it's going to tear your hair. It will slit a hair. It will cause knots. It'll cause all kinds of problems that you don't need. So I always make sure my nails are filed or clipped. or I clipped them the other night and filed them down. So make sure they were smooth. Because I don't want to damage my hair. I'm trying, that's the whole point, is not to damage my hair. So, but when you're detangling, once you get a section that is tangle free, or as tangle free as you can get it with your finger, then you're going to retwist it. And you retwist it so it will get caught up with other hair. And then you'll have a bigger mess because now you got more hair that's got tangles in it. So once you've got a section that's detangled as much as you were trying to detangle it, then twist it back up. And a big part of this, a big part of this finger detangling is patience. So you want to detangle it. Don't do it when you're mad at your husband, your cat, your dog, your fish. If, if something is making you mad, don't detangle your hair when you are mad. I don't know what make us take it out on our hair. Don't do it. And I like to, when I'm detangling, especially, um, you know, I know it will be there a while. I watch a video, I'll listen to a podcast, I might watch an old movie, you know, just something to take my mind off of it. And it just gives me a relaxing time just to take my hair down and actually play in it. Y'all, I've been playing in my hair since I was six years old. I always love combing my hair. So this is a time that I can spend just combing it. Because when it's like this, all I've been doing is scalp massage, which I will show you all. And if you want to see a video on how I do my scalp massage, leave me a pink heart in the comments below. And I will do a video on how I do my scalp massage. When it's up like this, I've been scalp massaging and it is wonderful. So you're going to finger detangle. Um, I'm not going to say I never use combs and brushes because I do. I have the Felicia Leatherwood. I think every natural in the world has either Felicia Leatherwood or a tangle teaser. I have the first, probably first tangle teaser ever made. It was before they actually made it a better product. Um, I have a Denman brush. I've had two Denman brushes. I had one I just, yeah, it just fell apart in my hand one day. So I have a Denman brush. I, I'm still using the brushes, but I'm, this is a new growth. I'm in a new season of learning, of thickening my hair up. So I'm not combing and brushing it as much. I'm not going to tell you not to comb your hair because it does have to, it does need to be combed sometimes. But the finger detangling is what I'm trying to do more of. So I'm not going to say I never use a comb or brush because I still do. And, and you know, we do have to remember that when we're on this journey with our hair, we, we focus so much on product. But a whole lot of it is the technique that we use. One, one YouTuber, and I really like watching him. It's interesting. He's a he's a stylist, but he said that your hair, your root. He said for the root, you use, you use shampoo. He said for the length of the hair, you use leave-in conditioner, and for the ends of the hair, you use oil. That really makes sense because if we're sealing in with oils or butter at the end, and sometimes flaxseed oil, you know, I'll explain that to y'all when I put it back up, but. If you're sealing in everything you've done, it stays moisturized longer. 
And uh, someone left in the comments, and I thought that was really good to bring that up, that you don't put heavy oils on your roots. You know, we all grew up using the reef. I, well, I did. I did. Now, some of y'all are probably a lot younger than me. My mama used grease on my hair. But as we start to learn our hair, we realize that that grease is so thick. And it is sometimes, it's you smothering your our follicles with too much of it. So we're going to use an oil. It needs to be a light oil. And we don't need to oil it all the time because after doing this for a solid week, I realized that when I massaged my scalp, my own natural oil showed up. I learned that from another YouTuber. And my hair stayed moist and pretty, you know, pretty lubricated. I put it with my aloe vera juice and then massaging it. I didn't have to keep oiling my scalp. I may have oiled it at the beginning. When I first washed it, it felt dry to me. So I oiled my scalp. And y'all, I am trying the Mayel Organic Oil. I'm not going to stay with it forever. But I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what it would do. And it tingles. I do like the tingle. But I'm going to make an oil that we're going to use to grow our hair, the onion oil. That's going to be another video. So y'all, please, please continue to watch. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to do an onion oil video. Ooh, I'm working on it too. I'm working on several videos look like at once. But the onion oil video is really good. Um, but he, when he said that, I thought, huh. But if you massage your scalp, your oils, your natural oils will, and they have a name. It's what's funny when I'm talking to y'all, I can't remember all these names, but I'll put it up here, what it's called. But you all will know when it, when it shows up. But we produce our own oil. They just, because our hair is so curly, our hair will dry because the oils don't get down for it. You know, it has to go like this to get to the end of our hair. Instead of going straight down. But that oil comes from the scalp. And it so we produce our own oil. But when you first wash your hair, sometimes you don't feel the oil. But after a few days, if you massage your scalp, you will feel those oils. I've been feeling my oils. I haven't felt them before, but I was excited. Um the when we're using combs and brushes and finger detangling is perfect for the tender head person. I remember in kindergarten, I had a friend, and she was tender-headed, and I didn't understand what that meant, because, you know, my mama would just take a comb and just, but her mama told me to tell my mama, she's tender-headed, which meant, you know, don't comb her hair like you probably comb your child's hair, so mama didn't comb her hair while she was at the house, I think mama just took her hands and just whipped it up, and we went on back to school, but the finger detangling is really good for people that are tender-headed, because they're not, you're not pulling with a comb or a brush and it keeps from hurting their head. I'm not tender head, but you know, some people are. So finger detangling is good for the tender head part. And I didn't even tell you the tip. Let me tell you the tip. So when you're finger detangling, and I've heard both. Some say start at the root. Some say start at the end. I tend to start at the root when I'm finger detangling. I take it down. I untwist, I'm going to untwist these. And in the video, you'll see how I do it. But I tend to go from the root down when my hair's been up. Because, you know, this hair is new that been showed up here. So I've got to, I to teach it how to act. So I have to take this hair down and smooth this hair. And then I kind of take my time and come down the hair. And some of these, some of these YouTubers will, they'll take their hair down. And I understand why they do it. I've tried it, but it tangles my hair and I don't do it. I don't do it any as much. They'll they'll take their hair down and they'll say, I like my hair big, and they'll take a pick. And what they're doing is they're picking at the root to make the root bigger, you know, so that they can it makes my hair tangle. So what I started doing when I detangle is just detangle it more thoroughly and kind of let it bush up to make it bigger. But they'll just take the pick and just pick their roots and just I don't really like doing that because then when it's time to put it back up, I got knots that are coming from my roots to about right there. So I don't do that. But you know, if you like picking your roots, continue on doing it if you like to do it. I just don't like it. I do. I go from the root down to the tip. And then I try, I'm, I'm going to try to separate it as gently as I can. 
And then once I get it detangled, then I'll know, you know, how it's going to look. And if it looks like it's going to look good enough, y'all will see it at the end of the video. If it doesn't, you'll see it in an updo at the end of this. And if you found these tips helpful on how to finger detangle your hair, be sure to subscribe and to follow some of my other videos because I do have other videos on other things to do after you detangle it. I do recommend finger detangling before you wash it because since you're washing it, you're going to finger detangle it and then you can twist it back up into a bigger twist to wash it. And don't, the reason I say it, I've seen this happen with other YouTubers too. With really, really long hair, they will just, they'll have the hair up, they'll just take it down and just jump in the shower and start washing it. You don't want to wash that hair and it hasn't been separated because now you're asking for the hair to wrap around itself and to form some knots you cannot get out. I know at least three that had to cut a lot of their natural hair off because they didn't detangle it before they washed it and their hair had been in a up through a protective style. Some of them, um, some of one of the ones I really like a lot, but she likes to leave her hair up for months and then I mean, her hair is like her, her behind and then she'll wait and then she'll detangle it and it takes her hours to get all of the tangles out. See, I'm not, I don't want to have to sit there and do it that long. So, do not let it stay that long. And like I said, you're going to use the oil when you start to detangle. You'll see me using oil when I'm detangling my hair because the oil helps to lubricate the hair and makes it easier to separate and not get so many single strand knots, which is still what I'm battling. But I'll figure them out one of these days. That is all for this video. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Okay. All right, so this is how this is how it looked when I took it down. Front. Bad. Bad. Back. All the way around, 360. <laughs> now it looks good enough to do my video for my church. Y'all think? What y'all think? <laughs>